Hey guys, what's going on? How's everybody doing? I think it's nine. It's nine oh four. Okay. How are y'all doing? Is everybody doing okay tonight? Um, I'm just gonna give you guys a couple minutes. See who's going to tune in here to this training. Hopefully, I'll have a couple watchers couple viewers here i don't know why um if you guys tune in can you say hi can you say hi so i know who's here um my on my end it's being a little funky i'm not seeing i see you guys' faces kind of in the corner who's tuned in hey nancy hi sandy how are you guys how was your day on a scale of 1 to 10, let me know how your day was in the comments below. Now, this is going to be a little different for me. Um, I do trainings every once in a while for my clients and for my team, but I don't do it. I haven't done one for um, Hemp Nation yet. I'm excited about this. Um, I'm excited to be able to share my knowledge with you guys and kind of teach you how I use social media to leverage my business. Um, Nancy, Sandy says nine. Nancy says nine plus. That is awesome. You guys are rocking. You guys had good days. I'm really happy to hear that. Um, but I, I want to go ahead and introduce myself first. Um, Kim says seven. Hi, Kim. Thanks for tuning in, you guys, by the way. Um, I'm going to introduce myself just in case, you know, people tune in that don't really know me very well or maybe um, I plan to kind of save these videos and have to have them to use as resources for both myself and you guys. So I'm going to save this, upload it to YouTube um, and have a file on YouTube for all the social media trainings that I do um, for Hemp Nation um, now and in the future because um, this is going to be a series. Um, I'm not going to cover everything that I know in one video tonight. Um, I, I would talk you guys' ear off and we'd be here forever. Um, so I'm just going to kind of break it down and do one thing at a time. And we'll kind of see, you know, as far as schedules go with everybody, what works. But anywho, um, my name is Allie Marquardt. Um, I am an online health and fitness guru. That is what I really started with. I have been in the health and wellness field um, for about six years now. Um, I've been a personal trainer for almost six years. Um, I have been in and out of gyms doing management. I have, um, I started Alley Marquardt Fitness back in 2015 um, when I had lost a job at an old gym. Um, I was working as ma working management there. Um, we closed the doors to have what our boss told us was going to be a bunch of improv improves, like we were going to get the floors cleaned and paint the walls and all this stuff. And um, we actually never ended up reopening, unfortunately. Um, so I was kind of left high and dry and didn't really know what I was going to do. But it, it, little did I know it was propelling me forward to learn and grow and be the person that I needed to be um, today for many others um, to learn how to um, have my own business you know, and all the things that go into that. And um, along with training, when this opportunity fell into my lap with CBD oil, I was already personal training. I was already doing things in meal prep and offering people healthy foods. And when I came across a supplement, um, because I had worked at GNC for over three years, um, I was very into supplements, knew a lot about them. When I heard about this, that it was so good for so many different things, just in one like liquid version, it was a no brainer. I mean, it was just like, well, why wouldn't I? I feel like I would be doing my clients a disservice if I didn't take advantage of this. Um, and I'm really happy to see you guys um, kind of thought the same or saw, you know, some benefits in taking CBD oil yourself. Um, but I think a lot of people, you know, we start and we're kind of like, well, I don't know, how do I start talking about it with people? Like, how do I um, go about not running out of prospects or leads or follow-ups or whatever you you know want to do and there are a couple different kinds of people and I want us to kind of get good at both things there are people that are great um, selling face-to-face -face. you know it's really easy and I we can all do this I think you sit down with friends or family and you just talk to them about this product and what it's done for you and you know close them on a sale there I don't like to say that, but like share it with them, you know, and they end up buying it from you. I don't know how else to word it, but close it. Um, and I happen to be really excited to share with you how I use primarily Facebook. Um, I'm working on Instagram a little bit more, but um, how I use social media to leverage my business. 
because I like it. I don't have to meet up with people. I can network with people and talk to people, all different people from all over the world um, from my computer. And I want to teach you guys, first of all, like what, you know, maybe your Facebook profile should look like, um, things like that. And then we're going to move into a little bit more of like how you have conversations with people and how you share this. And, you know, I can do trainings on the product itself or the business opportunity itself too, if that would be helpful for you guys as well. I'd be happy to, you know, jump on here live and do that kind of stuff. Can you guys throw up some likes and throw up some hearts if that would be helpful in the future if I were to do a live video explaining some of the, you know, different benefits, um, why our CBD oil is better than others, um, things like that, as well as maybe explaining the business business opportunity um, to you guys a little bit more. So maybe some people who are a little bit newer might have um, a better understanding of sort of, you know, okay, like I'm in this position, like how can I move forward from here or what should my goals be, you know, what should I be looking at? Um, achieving in the next month because I think goal setting is like a huge thing um, I think sometimes understanding the business itself you know as far as all the different ranks and how you achieve them and what the different volume is from products and stuff like that um, if you guys know that all and you can kind of have it down pat um, it makes it a lot easier to keep moving forward in this business um, because this business let me tell you what <laughs> you start sharing this stuff and it goes wild you guys, it goes wild um, and it goes really fast. It goes faster than a lot of us even know kind of how to keep up with it. So um, it look kind of looks like you guys are interested in me doing something like that. So that's definitely once I finish the social media training or maybe we can kind of alternate, we can figure that out. Um, I can go in and I can uh, talk a little bit more about that um, because I think that that would be that would be definitely be helpful, especially because we have a couple new affiliates, which I see, I know Nancy is on, so if everyone can say hi to Nancy, she's brand new. Um, I've had wonderful, wonderful um, experience with CBD oil, both her and I think her dad, she said, um, they've been trying it and the results are out of this world. And you know, she messaged me and she was like, how can I become more of a part of this? How can I, I wanna sell this product too, because this is life changing. So if you guys can say hi, um, throw up some likes, throw up some hearts, and give her a warm welcome. We're all here as a team to support one another. Kim says, hello, Nancy. Um, cool. Thanks for being a team player, Kim. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So the only thing I'm going to talk to you guys about tonight um, is five tips to set your Facebook up for success. And I just want to talk a little bit about your actual Facebook profile, okay? I'm not really going to dive into any conversation conversations or how you should, um, you know, approach people and things like that, what you should say and how many conversations should I be having and things like that. I just want to talk about really basic um, profile stuff to start with. Okay, you guys, so can somebody put, I'm going to go over five different things um, when it comes to your Facebook profile. Um, could somebody put a number one in the comments below so we can do the first one? Um, this is something I've learned this, you guys. I didn't come up with all of this on my own. I have to give credit where credit is due. Um, I had a social media coach for a good, like probably almost a year. Um, he's amazing. I put a lot of money and time into that. And by learning what I learned, it feels like, again, it would be a disservice if I didn't share with you guys what I learned. Because what I learned changed the game for my, even just my training business, let alone this business too. So um, the very first thing is your profile photo, okay? So the main photo that everybody sees when they go to your Facebook. What I can tell you, you guys, is you want it to be a picture of your face. You want it to be... You don't want it to be a picture of you facing the other way with your arms crossed or a picture of a side profile. You want people to be able to see you see you head on. Think about it. When you go on somebody's Facebook, what's one of the first things you do? What's one of the first things you look at? You look at their picture, right? Who is this person? That's one of the things, right? That's, that's the first thing. Is that just me? Do you guys look at that? Can, I, can you get, throw up some likes, throw up some hearts if that's the first thing that you look at? You know, so when somebody goes on your Facebook and they click on your profile picture, 
Uh, do you think they want to see, not that your dog isn't cute, but do you want to, do you think they just want to see a picture of your dog? Because they know your Facebook profile isn't your dog. Okay? They want to see you. So I want you to consider what your Facebook profile is right now, profile picture is right now, rather, and think about maybe should you change it, should you not change it. That's the very first thing. Super simple, you guys. We're going to start really, really easy so we can prime you for success. I don't want that. This is not meant to be overwhelming. This is meant to be informational, and hopefully you learn and you grow from it. So um, that's number one. Can somebody put a uh, number two in the comments below? We'll move on to the second one. Like I said, I'm going to try really hard not to make these too long um, because I want them to be easy to go back to and reference certain points. Number two. Someone comment a number two in the comments below. Can everybody hear and see me okay? I see a lot of people. It's kind of like people are waving and going back and forth and back and forth. Is there a hemp works ribbon? Um, Kim, I think there's a hemp works ribbon, but I'm going to get into that in a second because um, I'm not, I don't necessarily want you to be putting that on your, because the, the whole idea behind social media, you guys, is to keep people curious. You want to keep people curious. You don't want to give them all the information. If you give them all the information, they're not going to be interested in what you have to say up to sell or what you're doing. Because if you give them everything, what do they have a reason to message you for? If you tell them, oh yeah, I sell CBD oil, it's hemp works, it's a full spectrum, it's this, it's this price, this is where you can get it from, boom. Why do they even need to have a conversation on me? Oh, I, Nancy said you cut out on me. Can everybody hear and see me okay? Um, I just said, um, what's the first thing you look at when you look at a person's profile? It's their profile picture. So you want to make sure that your profile picture is a picture of your face, straight on your face. Um, that is number one. Now, did somebody, you guys put a number two? Does that answer your question, Nancy? Hopefully you can always go back and watch this. You can save it and rewatch it for sure. Number two is your cover photo. So your cover photo is the big banner photo. So when you go to your profile, you have your profile picture. And then above that, you have this giant banner picture. Now, for that picture, you don't necessarily want it to be another picture of yourself. What you do want it, want it to be is something that resembles who you are as a person. So if you love your family, maybe it's a picture of you and your family. If you love animals, maybe it's a picture of you. Um, what was the number two that people... Number two, we're on number two right now, Nancy, so you haven't missed anything. Number two is your cover photo. That's what we're talking about. Um, maybe, so if you're an animal lover, maybe you love dogs, so it's you and your dog. Or you love your kids, or it's pictures of your kids. Um, maybe it's pictures if... You know, you're a fitness freak like I always was. It's a picture of uh, weights or a barbell or something like that. Something that tells people who you are. Not, not necessarily everything, but tells people who you are. Brief description. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, you guys? Do you have any questions? Feel free to comment questions if you have them. Okay. That is number two. Number three. Somebody put a number three in the comments below. I have to keep you guys super long. Number three. Number three. Sandy says yes. I guess that makes sense. That's good. Very good. Number three. Number three. Number three. Sandy says three. Um, okay, so we have we talked about your profile picture, your cover photo, right? So your profile picture, cover photo, and then. We have, now this is newer to Facebook, in the like left hand panel or right where your bio is, you guys, there's like a bio and then you have featured photos. Facebook allows you to put five featured photos for people to kind of see at all times. This is where you want to encompass all the things that you do. So this is where a picture of your family might come in handy. Like I have a picture of um, like me and my mom because my mom and I are really good friends. I have a picture of Andy and I symbolizing our relationship, you know, and that that's important to me. I have a picture of um, 
one of my clients weight loss progress pictures so the changes right because training I want people to know that I'm in the fitness field and that I work with clients one-on-one -on -one. they don't need to know that directly but they can look at that and be like hmm that's pretty significant progress they're intrigued maybe you love golf maybe you love <laughs> could be anything boxing martial arts MMA um, soccer baseball crafting anything essential oils I mean it could be literally anything you guys I want you to think about and if you have a pen and paper maybe you write this down you know five things that you really really like to do and see if you can find photos of those things to add to that little section okay if you find that CBD oil is a big thing maybe you have a picture of CBD oil does that make sense super simple you guys are starting really easy these are all really simple tweaks. Can you put a picture of the oil? Yeah, you can. You can put a picture of the oil. It doesn't show people that you're necessarily selling it. You can put a picture of the oil, no problem. People don't know that, they just see the picture. If anything, they're curious. This is all about curiosity, you guys. How can you keep people curious? Keep them wondering, make them message you. That kind of thing. Nancy, actually brand new, you know, she made a post today um, that talked about one of the things that she, something about her pain being gone, you know, and uh, I'll, something about revealing her, her secret. Um, and she got a ton of comments on that post. A ton. People are like, what are you doing? What are you doing? That is the perfect curiosity post. Amazing. Well done, Nancy. I'm going to give you a shout out because that, that's rock and rolling for just starting. So that's number three. Any questions, you guys? Any other questions? Feel free to comment them in the comments below. Let's move on to number four. This is where things get a little, a little more. I'm asking a little more of you, but that's okay because we're learning and we're growing together. Number four. Somebody comment on number four. says four okay um, now I know you guys are probably gonna ask questions about this but this is important one of the most crucial things that my social media coach taught me um, was that you need to post first of all I'm just gonna give away um, well you also I guess going back let me rewind for just one second I'm sorry I'm stepping all over number back to number three I talked about the feature photos I wanted to include the bio there is a place to put a bio in there. Um, if you guys want, you can go on my Facebook profile, look at my bio. Um, it's really short and simple and sweet. Just a very brief explanation to people what you do, basically. So if you guys need help with that, there's that. Number four is posting three to five times a day on Facebook. Okay, don't get overwhelmed. Don't get scared. This isn't meant to be scary or overwhelming. But posting three to five times a day helps boost your affinity on Facebook. Now, what do I mean about that? What do I mean when I say that? Facebook has what we call alg algorithms. Are you guys, a f can you guys throw up some likes and some hearts if you're familiar at all with algorithms or not? I'm not really sure um, how much you guys know about the internet or anything like that. So I might be talking foreign language to you. Um, Sandy put up a like. Uh, hold on, Kim. Your comment is long. Um, okay, that's definitely where I was confused. What featured photos? Obviously, never use that option. Um, it's newer, so there might be a spot when you scroll down. It'll say, even say maybe add featured photos. Um, we can talk one on one a little bit more um, if you need help with that. Um, Kim says familiar with algorithms involved in politics. Yeah. So you guys, you know, have you ever just like a really easy example? Um, Andy and I are getting a puppy. Right, so we're getting a puppy, so I've been looking at a lot of different like bowls and dishes and dog food and all this different stuff, um, which I'm super excited about. But um, then all of a sudden, you know, I go on Facebook and on the side panel is the same exact dog dish I was just looking at. It's like I didn't buy it, but Facebook is like, I saw you looking at that. I saw you looking at that. Here it is again. You know you want to buy it sort of thing. 
So here's where I'm going with this. The more and more you post your posts on Facebook, the more and more people are going to see them. Because you'd be surprised, you guys, you might post and you'd be surprised how many people don't see them. The more interaction you can start getting on Facebook, the more people are liking your post, the more people are commenting on your post, the more other people are going to see it. Okay? If you if you don't comp, if you don't post very often, people might not be liking or commenting and you might make a post out of the blue and hardly anyone sees it because you haven't been consistent leave posting. Facebook is tricky like that. Is that helpful? Is that helpful? Can you throw some likes and hearts if that's helpful? The second question I always get whenever I tell people, oh yeah, post three to five times a day, they're like, well, um, how do I do that? Like, what do I post about? How do I have three to five different posts to come up with every single day? Let me tell you this, out of the three to five posts that you make, only one of them should be business related. Only one should touch on a business aspect. So whether you're selling CBD oil, you're selling a service, um, you're offering a boot camp or a giveaway or something like that, you should only be posting about it one time a day. I think Jocelyn's on here. Hi Jocelyn, thanks for tuning in. We like seeing your face. Um, so only one of them should be about business, you guys. And this is something I'm going to get um, a little more in depth with. Um, I've talked to Sandy a little bit about it. I know that because we've seen each other one on one. Um, but a little bit how to construct a post, you know, because I think a lot of times people are also like, well, OK, like you want me to post about my business, but what do you want? Me, what do I say? You know, how do I grab people's attention and get them interested and curious about what it is I'm doing? And that's something that we can dive a little bit deeper into in the future. Um, but one business post, all the other ones, you guys, like think about the morning. Um, one of my go to's for the morning is always some type of positive quote. Um, because people wake up, people may be going to a job that doesn't make them very happy, um, that they're not excited about. So a little bit of positivity shining their way um, definitely helps them with their day, you guys. So instilling positivity, post a positive quote. Maybe your kid is graduating from school or um, they're playing a summer sport. You know, post about their progress with their sporting events. People relate to family things. People relate to the same things you relate to. Think about what you are involved in, what you love, and share that with other people. Keep it positive. Nobody likes to see negativity on Facebook. Nobody likes to read a post that's ranting or complaining about something going on. We all know that, okay? Um, so positive quotes, one business post, um, could be family, another thing could be family related. Um, one thing that I think really, really is um, helpful when you can't really think of anything else. It's like, okay, I've covered all this different stuff. Um, I don't know what to post. Um, questions, you guys, like this or that questions, like hot or cold, yes or no, black or white, zebras or leopards. Um, it could literally be anything. Um, night owl or early bird, like stuff like that things that get people commenting on it, that helps boost your posts so people see it, okay? That's a go-to that I have when I'm like, I have nothing to post about. My day was not very eventful. I spent most of it in front of the computer, talking to people, stuff like that. You know, I don't have any pictures. Um, I will do a question like that. Um, anything that's inspiring to you guys, um, that you're excited about, people love that kind of stuff. So is this helpful? helpful. Can you guys throw some likes, some hearts, post any questions you might have? We've gone through four, um, four steps so far. I've only got one more thing really that I want to touch on for tonight um, until we do our next training. So hopefully if you guys throw up some likes, some hearts, Jocelyn says yes, positivity only. Yes, positivity is crucial. There's not enough of it in the world. Inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Um, somebody comment on number five in the comments below. We'll get, we'll get this wrapping up so you guys have the rest of your evening to do with what you need to do. And we'll go from there. We'll kind of try to decide on when maybe next week our next social media training should be. 
I'm excited about these. These are fun to talk about. So, number five. Number five. Sandy says five. This is a quickie, real quick um, tip, I guess. But also very, very, very important. Could be one of the most important things. Be consistent. Be consistent. You're going to post things sometimes and they're not going to get a lot of interaction. It's a learning process. It's about like, okay, I posted that. That didn't get a lot. That didn't really work. Let's take that away. And this is something I can help you guys with. So let's take away what I said. Let's break it down. Figure out how we can make it better for the next time we want to do something that's business related. Okay? Or a positivity post. You know, I'm, I'm here to give you guys feedback. Um, and help you with your posts to help you generate more of a following online um, because that's the goal of it. I'm going to tell you since I started selling CBD oil before I started selling it I had right around 400 followers. I have about 469 followers now. I've gained 70 followers in the last couple of months um, just from being consistent uh, on posting um, different things, you know, and people are curious. The more value you have to offer them, the more in interested they are in following you and seeing what you're up to. Does that make sense? You know, the more you give up, the more you can give back, the more they want to watch. Um, Dawson says, I've been struggling with starting to post about new business after it works. I want people to know how much I believe in this. I always have, but I struggle with worrying about spending too much time on social media again. It took so much time away from my family. Well, this is where just learning a balance. It's learning a balance, honey. So we can just figure out a way. Your posts don't have to take a long time. You know, they don't. Um, it's the conversations, I will say, that are a little more time consuming. But maybe that's something like, you know, as you stay consistent with posting, you find a time after your kiddos go to sleep that you can respond to people's messages. We'll figure something out for you. I can help kind of sort that out with you. Um, please don't let a negative, you know, stigma of something um, take you away from what you're currently doing because what you're doing now, I can tell you're much more passionate about it um, than the thing you were doing prior. Um, and I think it's really important that you're still able to share um, your testimonial um, and your excitement about it with other people. Um, I love you and I want to see you do that. Okay, Justin says, okay, send me a message, girlfriend. We can um, catch up. We need to have a phone date. So we'll figure out a time when we can do that. How's that sound? So number five is just to be consistent, you guys. Be consistent. Post Posting three to five times a day. You know, change up some of the things we talked about as far as your pictures go. Um, and we can go from there. If you guys have any questions, I'm here at your disposal. So make sure that you, you know, send me a personal message um, or comment your questions on the on this video um, and I'll be happy to answer them for you guys. Um, if there isn't anything else, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go have a, and have um, a great evening. I want you to be able to enjoy the rest of the time um, with your family, get back to whatever it is you're doing before you tuned in. Um, but I want you guys to know that I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I'm here to help you in any way, shape or form that I can. Um, Love and God bless to each and every single one of you because if you guys weren't here, we couldn't make this possible. Um, we have big dreams and big goals coming up in the future, um, including going to Las Vegas in October for a conference um, with Hemp, Hemp Works. That's always a great opportunity, a great way to get really fired up and get really excited about um, the business, the way that it's growing, and all the new things that are coming and changing. Um, Andy and I also have some very um, personalized goals, things that we want to achieve to help you guys um, and help our team. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I will put another poll in the group as far as when we should do our next social media um, training. If you guys could, once more before I get off of here, throw up some likes, throw up some hearts if this was helpful. Um, I hope you guys learned something new today. Um, and have some takeaways um, and some homework to kind of keep moving forward with. Um, love and appreciate every single one of you. I'm waiting for those likes and those hearts. I know you're listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.